Hello everyone, thank you so much for joining me. Another day, another video, and back with another uh, Transformers uh, figure. Again, more legacy evolution goodness. Uh, this time, Bombshell, right? Part of the Insecticons, this is the, at least from a G1 perspective, for me, he's a third Insecticon. I know there have been uh, a ton of different Insecticons uh, since then, but uh, Bombshell was one of the three main ones along with uh, Kickback and Shrapnel. So definitely very stoked to finally have the third one here in my collection. This guy's been out for a while. I got this from Hasbro Pulse a while back. Just uh, I'm just now getting around to uh, having a, a look at this. And you guys could see again the awesome artwork. Here's a bombshell shooting at some Autobots. There's his, uh, his face. Again, no plastic window here. And again, the Legacy Evolution artwork on the back, as always, is the actual figure. Over here you see 13 steps, so I don't anticipate that this guy would have a, a very difficult transformation, but um, we'll see. Uh, Evil Fusion, uh, I think in this case it looks like you just kind of take his shoulder cannons and make a gun for him. <laughs> Seems kind of uh, very simple, but hey, I get these figures for the transformation, and in this case uh, there you have him in his uh, bug mode. I don't recall exactly what type of bug, he may be a beetle? but I could be completely incorrect. But I am going to open this up and, uh, you know, give you guys a better look here into Bombshell. Okay, so here we are back with Bombshell out of the packaging here. Uh, obviously, you get your instructions. Uh, the transformation itself is uh, fairly simple, so I think these, you probably just need a quick look over um, and you should be good to go. The transformation itself, as I said, is simple enough that I don't think you'll uh, make a lot of use of these, but you do get your instructions. Of course, you see the figure there out of the box. Uh, he does get weapons and um, I'll take this off his hands. You can see he can hold them in his hands here. And he get, essentially gets this uh, gun. Let's start off with the silver gun here that he gets. Um, a bit hollow, uh, but again, I think it does its job for a small weapon for a figure this size. There is some light detail here on the top, and the uh, silver, I guess, metallic look is done really well. But, you know, it's a gun. Nothing to go home screaming about, but I think it serves its purpose. You also get these two uh, additional uh, parts which uh, attached to his weapon, this is actually part of his uh, evil fusion, as they call it here on the back of the box. Um, but they look like two little, I guess, missiles to me, or, or lasers. Um, but again, all in black. And, you know, again, non-offensive, they're there. They are what they are. Uh, you can combine these, as you saw earlier, I had them all combine it. That's, uh, again, part of this whole evil fusion thing, is you can combine these two into his gun so you get something like that that he can hold and that looks more substantial uh, these parts also come into play during the transformation these are actually a uh, part of the back legs at that point for his bug mode so a bit a part forming but nothing too egregious that would bother me now onto the figure itself here you guys see the empty box so we'll move that out of the way uh, but the figure itself, uh, again, really well done. Definitely, you know, bombshell from G1. If that's your thing, this is definitely the guy to get. I'm, for one, very excited to now finally have all three Insecticons in the collection. So it's really cool to have that whole set. Uh, as far as the figure itself, uh, the color is really well done. You got this nice purple here on the chest. Some of this, uh, I guess, clear plastic with some yellow or mustard or gold color. Nice Decepticon symbol there. Uh, and they do manage to add some light detailing here on the chest, on the sides. Um, the rest of it is like the other Decepticons, uh, or the Insecticons rather, uh, all black and gray. But what's there, again, you get some detail on the forearms, some here on the bicep, I guess, and the shoulder. That's really cool. These are his front legs in bug mode. Uh, coming down here to the waist area, you got some detailing here on the waist parts. And then, of course, here on the legs, same thing here. It's all black and gray, but I do think the uh, definitely the purple with the yellow kind of help out. Here on the back, of course, uh, it's okay. Some hollowness here. Don't mind it too much. Uh, I guess it's there. 
but uh, no issues on my end. And then this top part again done in this uh, gold, sorry, gold, silver. Um, and I definitely love the face. I've always liked the face of a bombshell. I don't know. I think I like that uh, that mouthpiece. Uh, he always looked very uh, devious, sinister with that mouthpiece and those uh, sort of uh, those red eyes kind of there. And you can move this out, but he looks a little weird just like that. So, um, again, really cool. Overall, the figure, the paint apps uh, are really well done. I love, again, the gold or yellow here, clear plastic with the gray painted on. It's really cool. So the figure itself definitely uh, looks uh, the part. Uh, as far as articulation, you can move the, the head. You can't move it all the way because this thing gets in the way. But you can't look left and right. You can't really look up and down uh, just because of the way he's built. You know, the arms here, you can move them. He can bend his uh, 90 degree or a little over. The hands don't move. The waist, you do get, you know, you can do whole complete waist rotation. He can kick forward that much, kick back that much, and then his knees do bend uh, pretty much uh, just about 90 degrees there. You get some ankle movement here, so you can move this out a little bit. And then the toes do articulate in and out. This is part of the transformation, but you, you do get some ankle articulation, so you can pose uh, this guy pretty well uh yeah but overall that's pretty much it i do i also want to mention this part i don't know i guess in the sea of black and gray color this definitely um sticks out for me it's really nice this blue with the uh, gold circles here that's really cool but overall uh you know a really nice figure uh some things that do bug me uh about it is the fact that we have these hollow uh, hands here and again that's because of the transformation right this fist is supposed to go in there but uh, again because they've done uh, such a good job with other figures that have a similar transformation where the hand has to go into form and they've been able to sort of cover this hollowness a little disappointed that they didn't work on that and I guess there's some hollowness back here but that doesn't bother me as much as this because I can actually see this right most of the time when I'm going to pose my figures they're going to be head-on uh, but other than that, again, really glad to be able to uh, sort of finish the set. You can see he could do the splits too. And these legs also do uh, turn, so there's some good uh, articulation there. Now, onto the transformation, as I mentioned earlier, it's uh, relatively simple. You know, took one look at the instructions and pretty much got a good gist of it. Um, so where we'll start is, as I mentioned just now, is the, the fists, the forearms. Uh, you just kind of fold them in and they go in this section here on the hollowness of the forearms. You push both in. You're kind of done there. The other part that you could do here is these uh, at the shoulder here. You can push these in towards, I guess, the back. You guys can see here. And that reveals some nice uh, color again to go, um, you know, in the in the bug mode. You know, this got this nice color here. So a truly cool, uh, again, to emulate more of what they look like in the cartoon. And again, same thing here. You kind of untap this and it kind of goes clicking in there. Uh, for now, you could just move these out of the way like this. The head here, very simple. Uh, you see this piece here. Um, essentially, you can, this tabs in. So it's got a tab here and it just goes over his face and it kind of it doesn't click for me it kind of just kind of goes in there with some pressure some light pressure and then the uh, the cannon part here as i call it you kind of just straighten that out um, next thing to do would be to move to the bottom portion here first thing i usually do is turn the this all the way around so you've got something that looks like this right now the front of the legs are facing sort of like the back so you got that <clears throat> next thing would be to open uh, these panels here on the legs. So you got these panels here that can open out. So you see that they just they're tapped in there and they come out like this, same thing here. You can do the same thing on this side. You just open up. Once you have that, you'll see that the, um, the legs and knees here are kind of a 
there's an additional joint that they spin in, right? So that's the way they're gonna go. Before we do that though, you see these uh, feet, the toes, you're just gonna push them down like that. So it looks something like that, push them down. Um, then you can pretty much take this leg and see if I can show you guys this. Let's, let's do it on this leg. You take this leg, fold it in, kind of gets folded in place and you're gonna make sure that these legs kind of go in like that. Uh, you can join them at this point. There's a, a tabs in there. You could see them where, so they could stay together. And then, um, I don't know if you could see, there's two tabs here. They're gonna go um, in sections here. So you'll see, hopefully you'll see, there you go. They gotta sit in like that. And then that's pretty much done. The other thing to do here is with the arms. Uh, once you have this done, is make sure that this section with the these uh, holes here are facing uh, sort of down, I guess. There is a tab here that's gonna get tabbed in there. And you just kind of will let that sit in there. You can tap it in. I had some issues with trying to tap mine in. And then same thing here, you tap that in there. So they have to, you have to make sure they go into this section here. It's a little hard to see because it's uh, black plastic, but just trying to make sure that it sits in there properly. And then the last thing to do, as I mentioned uh, in this bug mode, is you take uh, these two sections from the uh, gun and you just tab them in here you'll see this section here it's got it got the tab in there and then same thing here just get the tab in there and you're gonna look something like that yeah and that's pretty much the bug mode uh, here relatively simple uh, again, uh, you know, these Insecticons, I think their transformations were always uh, very simple and, you know, giant bug, uh, you know, seem kind of strange to me when you have planes, tanks and guns <laughs> and spaceships. But for some reason, I always uh, liked these these guys, right? Kickback, Shrapnel and now Bombshell. I thought they were really, really cool. Uh, some kind of beetle, if I'm remembering correctly, I have to look it up, but... Yeah, I mean, the, the alt mode's definitely there. Uh, I think it's a, a, you know, very faithful transformation to the older toys and the older figure and the show, the G1 show itself. And here in bug mode, you'll notice the, the exact same, you know, uh, details as you did before in robot mode, right? Now the back of the legs are kind of like on the top. So you start seeing some of this gray and this blue and, and gold piece that I mentioned earlier. But uh, yeah, I think overall I'm I'm pleased with this mode. I mean, it's it's inoffensive. It's definitely exactly what I used to see in the shows, at least uh, for the most part. So I'm happy with it. You can also take the gun here and uh, tab it in here, and he can again have another gun to shoot things. But overall, yeah, I'm enjoying this little bug mode. Relatively simple. It certainly fits in uh, really well with. Uh, you know, the other Insecticons in general. Okay guys, so here we are back in robot mode and overall I am uh, pretty happy with Bombshell here. Um, obviously the transformation is not anything too crazy, but that kind of fits uh, to me, at least with the G1, G1 figure uh, pretty well. I think the little gun and the accessories that he comes with are enough. I'm happy enough with the robot himself. I think he looks really cool, definitely fits the bill. So definitely I'm happy to add him to my collection. Uh, as we close the video, uh, I figure we do some random comparisons for anyone out there that may be interested. So I had a runabout and run amok here. Um, I think this, these are Earthrise figures, if I remember correctly, and you'll pardon me because I always forget which one is run amok and which one is uh, runabout. <laughs> But here they are. Uh, they're about the same size, I would say. Maybe 
bombshell there is slightly taller but again that works out for me i think they look really cool uh together so we'll move uh run them up and run about out of the picture then uh some autobots here here he is uh next to beachcomber and brawn from studio series and legacy of course but uh really cool i think again that scale uh works for me I know the Insecticons were a tad taller uh, than, I guess, these Minibots. So I think in this case, that scale definitely works for me there. We'll move that out of the way. Give you two more uh, Autobots here. Uh, here he is next to the Netflix uh, Bumblebee here. And a Wheelie uh, from Studio Series 86. And again... <laughs> Uh, again, I think the scale definitely works for me. Uh, Bumblebee being the smaller guy and Wheelie being even smaller. I just wanted to show that off to show you the height. Um, one more Autobot that I had laying around here was uh, Perceptor from Studio Series 86 again. And you guys can see them there. Perceptor, Perceptor is much, much bigger. So again, I think that definitely, definitely works for me. So... So I think that's it for the Autobot so far. Uh, we'll do, actually, no, I lied. Here's one more. I had a Sludge here sort of hanging out. Um, but uh, again, no comparison. I mean, Sludge is a Dinobot. But if you want to see the size difference, there he is. He absolutely dwarfs a uh, bombshell. Uh, makes sense him being an Insecticon, right? But uh, there you go. Huge size difference. So we'll move up. Uh, sludge here out of the way some uh decepticons here he is next to two seekers from earthrise this is a uh, thundercracker and skywarp and i don't know if i was the only one when i was younger and i used to watch uh the g1 transformer show i always try to figure out if these two were related and that was because my childhood mind was like hey why are they the same color uh right like black and, and purple they have the same sort of scheme there so i always assume that they were related somehow other than being Decepticons. So, uh, yeah, just wanted to show them there with Skywarp and uh, Thundercracker. I think, again, that scale definitely works for me. Uh, we'll move uh, Skywarp out of the way. And sort of here he is next to Starscream. Again, the same mold. I just want to show them there together. So, again, that definitely works pretty well for me. And um, one more. Here he is next to a triple changer, Blitzwing. Of course, if I don't drop him. <laughs> but here he is. Uh, there's a Blitzwing in all his glory. Really wish this guy was bigger. But again, trying to stick to that purple motif so you guys could see. Uh, uh, the colors are different, right? It's a purple, but this one's a hue, a hue darker on uh, Blitzwing there. But you guys could see them there together with Blitzwing. Out of the way, and uh, lastly, again, here's some his Insecticons buddy, uh, his Ransack. I uh, that's from the four pack, I think that was a Target exclusive. I think it still is at one point. This one came with Gold Bug, uh, as well, and a couple other figures. So, um, I kept Ransack, so that's nice that they have them there. And of course, uh, Ransack shares a mold or is pretty much the exact same mold as Kickback here. So that's how they look together. We'll move Ransack out of the way because I know he's an Insecticon. But for me, from a G1 standpoint, if I take it back to the show, uh, it's awesome to now have all three of these together, right? Uh, Shrapnel, Kickback, and now Bombshell. These three look really, really awesome. I always assumed that Bombshell was a leader, but I believe that's incorrect. Um, I don't know. You guys tell me in the comments if you see this video. Um, who, who, which one of these guys was the actual leader? I think it may have been Kickback, actually. But for some reason, when I was younger, I always assumed Bombshell was. So, anyway, they look really awesome together. Uh, I would say if you have the other two and you're on the fence on this one, I would definitely get them. Because, to me, these three come as a set. Um, so, it's, it's really awesome to finally have them together. But anyway, I think that's it, guys. If I've missed anything, if you have any questions, again, feel free to leave a comment. But it's so awesome to finally have uh, the Insecticons uh, trio here 
And my hope is, you know, we have Ransack here all the way on the left, is that now we will get the other three or two. I know there's like two or three more, I think Chops Up, and I forget the name of, of the other guys, but I hope they make more. Uh, I mean, for now, I'm happy having the three main ones, and I think it works out. I think some Bombshell is a good uh, figure. But anyway, thank you so much. If you made it to the end, I really appreciate your time, and I will catch you next time.